What's going on guys? Hope everyone's well. We have a very big day today. We've got lots to do. We're actually going to meet an electrician at one of the projects. Then we're gonna check up on the eight bedroom HMO that hopefully made progress. And then we had a lot of other major works on the different projects. So I'm excited to show you guys. But right now, stay tuned, because this is a day in the life. Right guys, so we're just here today with JD Rose Electrical. Um, these are obviously my electrician team that we use quite frequently. Um, so we're just going to do a walkthrough and just basically find what we need to do basically for this property. It's just a serviced accommodation, so it's not as strict in terms of emergency lighting and you know fire panels, etc. So this one should be a lot more simple. Spotlights you want replacing in the kitchen. Yeah. So with the spotlights, what are you thinking? What would you recommend? I would put in the LED integrated ones. Yeah. Heat resistant and the IP rated at the same time. Okay. And then in terms of appliances, are we good for here? Like there's no because like, um, pack testing and that. Well, pack testing, mate. To be honest with you, there's no appliances really pack test. That's a hard wire cooker, mm. so you're all right for that. Yeah, so you've got your sockets here for these appliances. So the only appliances that potentially you're pack testing is whatever you put in here. Which okay. I'm assuming is a washer and a, a dryer. Yeah, yeah. They're all, they're all in isolation as well, so yeah. you're all right, to be honest. Mm. We're about to have the TV. TV above the fireplace, isn't it? Right. So if you want it above the wall, you are going to have a bit of chasing out then, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh! Lovely, we don't need it. Yeah, don't need it then. I've got like that, yeah? Yeah. Sick. We'll just bring the cable along here and just bring it slowly around here and then put it into a spur there because you don't want, don't want that. Just thinking, is there anything outside what we want? Because I was thinking of the jacuzzi. But how easy is that to do? Is that like a plumbing thing or? Uh, if you're having a hot tub, you need yeah. electrical supply to it depending on what hot tub you get. But then do you it need depends a... if you're just getting a plug and play thing. If you're getting a plug and play thing, you'll have to, you can just bang on its own socket circuit because they'll, they'll tackle the lot. But if it's a, a hard wire thing, you're going to need a 6mm cable in, isolate the switch and all the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I just want it to be kind of luxury, do you know what I mean? So it's got that nice feel to it. I'd rather it here, wouldn't we? Because it'd be more I'd, private. Yeah, I'd put it here. You got, oh, you've got a light there as well, look. Yeah. Straight so above. you know if you wanted to swap out these lights for like proper nice outdoor lights? Yeah, you can do. Yeah, so one here. Yeah. One here. Yeah, two. And then two here. Three, four. Three, four, yeah. Would that look quite good, do you think? I think so, yeah. Because we're going to put a conduit down there anyway. Yeah. Bring a conduit up, mm. bring it round to here, get a corner bracket, mm. and have an LED floodlight facing down there. Again, on a sensor. So as soon as yeah. you come out here and it picks you up, it lights up. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. I prefer shower on the combo than electric shower all day. If you electric shower, because there's a lot of power, the amount of time you go there and the yeah. burnt out in the pool court, the burnt out in the shower, yeah. then your shower packs and you have to replace it. Yeah. I would always prefer them on a combo. So you know that, could I just replace that for a nicer one? Yeah, if you wanted to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd probably leave this in as well. If it's not broke, I won't fix it. You've got an option for a bath and you've got an option for a shower. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything else we could add? Because we're going to take this off anyway. If you're not bothered about having a mirror light, I'd probably get rid of this one and just put a new mirror on. Yeah, yeah. If you're doing like a HMO and stuff like that, and you're tearing it apart, yeah, I'd say well. bang it in, but there's no, there's no, point, no point when it's a nice bathroom. And these lights in here again, we we'll probably have to rejig them, try and bring them in a little yeah, bit more yeah. and whatever else, just because obviously we're not going to be able to reuse them all. That's the thing, JD Rose Electrical, they've always got your back. They're always trying to save you money where they can. So remember, link in the description. You know if we did want to change out all the sockets? If you want chrome, it's just obviously the extra fibre for the, for the sockets. Yeah, so it'll be roughly about... It's about 600 odd quid, 660 quid. Yeah, let's do that's, that. That's with 30 sockets, you know what I mean? Let's do that. They're doing a full rewind stuff like that. Yeah, you spend thousands, well. don't you? Yeah. And if you just tighten it up. Yeah, yeah. All right, mate. So before I leave, I'll have a car talk. Yes. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, which ones so to I'm buy. Trouble. That's one way to go about it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Mint. Books are hick. To fit, I think, I think that's the actual feature of the light, to be honest. You reckon? Yeah, yeah. So just change that to a normal pendant. Yeah, let me just have a quick look. So, so we'll put a feature one in here then. Can you send to it? Uh, Again, you can, it'll just mean buggering off in the loft and centering it, yeah. But then you're just gonna have a little patch up. But to be honest with you, you might as well get a, a plaster in now, anyway. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we're yeah. gonna have patching up for the TV yeah, sockets, yeah. you're gonna have patching up for yeah, the spotlights so. and stuff. So, yeah. in, realistically, it's pretty much the same price as a socket. If you're yeah. buying a feature light, it's only cost 15, 20 quid to swap it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But if you're not bothered about it, like these two pendants are perfectly fine. Yeah. So, if you wanna keep these like that, then you don't have to do anything apart from buy a shade. What are all these spotlights on the left? The what? They'll be above a bed. Because they are halogen and they're a lot more on electricity. Can we swap wheel. them out for the new We can swap them for the yeah, ones yeah, that we're yeah. putting in and there won't be no patching up because they look about the same size. Yeah, yeah, so. Just a few other things. We'll get some lights. Neil. Right, a sensor. 
Well, yeah, you can have a sensor, sensor on, yeah. yeah, we can do that. Just put a PIR sensor in there. Yeah, yeah. sensor light. I don't mind the trunking. I'll have a look, I'll ask my old sailors. Yeah. They'll, they'll know something, there'll be a little yeah, sensor light somewhere. So guys, we just did the walkthrough with JD Rose Electrical. Now, we're just counting up all the sockets, just to price how many sockets we're gonna need to buy. How you doing, mate? Hey, old mate, you all right? Yeah, good pal, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all good, all good. Did they manage to get that kitchen in? Uh, yes, mate, they got there last night. Um, but yeah, the old kitchen's built, mate. They're just gonna start fucking knocking off them on walls and that tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. All right, mate, nice one. Cheers, man. See you in a bit. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right guys, so that was one of my trades people that I work with. Really great guy, really graft on, proper hard work on. He actually does some of my removals as well. People like that are kind of a godsend, to be honest, because they'll help you to work with the joiners, work with a builder, and they'll do a lot of stuff themselves. So you need to find good trades people, but they're not just gonna come overnight. Well, they did it for me, for me it took ages, but you get there. Okay guys, so really good news. Just had an offer accepted on a house that I really wanted to buy. Buying it for 225, it's in Nottingham, it's in a non-article four area, potential six bed HMO or a serviced accommodation, I've not really decided yet. I own about two doors down. Um, I like it when you've got a street, it works well on one house, so you just buy next door or you buy two, two doors down. But yeah, let me show you inside this project, which is a six bed HMO, potentially a seven bed, if we can get planning approved on it, but we're still waiting to hear back. It's going to committee, which is tonight, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, uh, let me show you inside. The progress. You see something like this, this is basically where the electrician has added in a socket or a TV point or whatever and they've basically, this is a switch for a bed and basically they've had to come all the way through there so they've cut a big chunk out of the wall which is why we've then got the plaster to plaster it all up and smooth it out. All that needs now is sanding down and then the painter decorator can come and paint the property. That's when you see this looking all mad, you know what it is. Um, we've also actually boarded and plastered the ceiling which is looking good. The trim around the ceiling, we've kept that. The kitchen, a lot of it's been built. Um, so it's looking all right. But again, there's a lot of work to do. I don't know if you guys remember last time, but this whole area was stacked full of rubbish um, that we did from the rip out. So that's good, that's all been cleaned. And then we have, in here we're having a bathroom and a like kind of pantry area with another uh, fridge freezer and another washing machine. Let me just show you in here. This is another one of the bedrooms. And then let's go check out the progress upstairs. There's obviously a bedroom in here. As you can see, decent size, nothing crazy. We have a lot bigger bedrooms elsewhere. We have the committee meeting tonight, so we're gonna see if we get it approved. Right guys, so right now we're just about to go to one of the properties which I'm currently buying. I can't go inside, but I just wanna like go outside, just try and start visualizing you know the project and so uh, yeah I'll try and show you some of the outside we drove past it but I've just decided I don't want to show the outside just for privacy reasons right guys so a lot of people are messaging me asking me Luigi what the fuck is going on with the market why is everything so overpriced why there's so many buyers why is it really hard to find deals right now? But trust me when I say, you're not the only one. I'm struggling right now uh, to find stuff as well. So don't even worry about it. Me and my team, we are focusing on direct to landlord at the moment. We're trying to get a load of banners up and saying we buy houses, contact us now. We're also looking on right moves, Zoopla, just as we normally would. We are being patient, being extra due diligent because yes, it is very possible that the market will take a dip. I don't think the market will crash and properties are going to go from 100k to 50k. I just cannot see that happening. If they do, then yeah, great. We'll be able to pick up some more bargains. I'm just trying to find a deal what works in this market. If prices do dip by, say, 15%, then are we going to be okay? Or is it going to kill the deal? Something to think about, guys. If you do enjoy these type of videos, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. But any suggestions, comment below. I'll see you all very soon.